So guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to animate reflection and this is one good example of it. This is one of my older, older projects. So yeah, that's how it, it looks. And here you can also download this project if you want. There is also Keyshot file available. So yeah, let me show you how to animate reflections. Uh, here we have our model. I chosen sphere just for sake of this video. So to make um, to animate reflection on the model, you need some uh, source of light, and that source of light has to be some object. So for that object, we can use sphere or something else depends uh, what you need. If you need like sharp looking um, light then you can go with plane or disk. I'm, I'm gonna use sphere. Let's see where is it. Yeah. Position. Let's just move. Okay and I'm gonna make this sphere Okay, that's about it. We can add lights. I'm gonna use emissive, Emiss emissive white, and I'm gonna make it intensity like 50. Or even hundreds. Okay, also I'm gonna turn down the brightness in this scene. And what I'm also gonna do is scale up this sphere I'm using for light as a light source. Okay, so how do you animate this? You just go to animation. Animation wizard. Here you can choose a few varia variations. You can fade, you can rotate your model. Uh, I'm gonna use trans translation. Next, so uh, cho choose the model that is the source of light. And let's go finish. I'm gonna change my settings down here. So click on animation. I'm gonna set it to two seconds. And I'm gonna use X. X is, let's try five. So when we are here, okay. Now, what I'm also going to do is get out of animation and set my model. You're listening to uh, global. Okay, I'm gonna pour it here. Let's get back to animation. So, I'm actually gonna use set, so, or Z axis, however you say. Looks like we need more. So yeah, that's how you animate a light. You just uh, need um, a model to be a source of light and that model you use later to just uh, move around the scene and the light will reflect on your model. Also, let's not forget one important thing and that is material settings for this light you don't wanna uh, have it visible to camera you can have it visible in reflections or not and in shadows or not and that's pretty much it once you're done this is how it's gonna look like
if we change this material it may it may look even more interesting so there we have it that was all for this video and hope to see us soon in some of my next videos bye